Hi there! Today we are reading amazing and lovely story Lost in the Snow by Lyndon Jennings and Alison Edgson. Ollie peeped out of the barn door. Something cold and wet plopped on his nose. What's all this white stuff, Mom? He squeaked. Can you eat it? It's snow, Ollie, his mom laughed. It falls like rain in winter. And no, you shouldn't eat it. Can we play in it then? He asked. Please, Mom! cried Sheva and Sam. Of course you can, said Mom, but don't go too far. Sam and Sheba skidded and slid across the icy farmyard. Wait for me, yelped Ollie, racing after them. When the puppies reached the field, they stopped and stared. There was snow everywhere. Let's play, cried Ollie. The puppies chased and dug and rolled under the flying snowflakes. Until suddenly... A strange face loomed up in front of them. A face with a huge mouth, huge eyes and huge teeth. For a moment the puppies froze with fear. Run! Sheba cried. The puppies rushed off through the flowering snowflakes. Ollie's paws scrabbled and skidded as he ran and ran, until at last the dog's box faded and everything was quiet and still. But where were Shaba and Sam? Where were the farmyard and the barn? Oh no! whimpered Ollie. I'm lost! Do it! Do who? Who are you? hooted a voice high above him. Ollie looked up. Two big round eyes stared down. I'm Ollie! And I've lost my family, and I don't know my way home. Ollie squeaked. Perhaps you should follow your footprints, suggested the owl. They lead you home again, but hurry, or they'll be covered in snow. Thank you so much said Ollie. I'll do that. Tail wagging, he set off. But by the time he had reached the middle of the field, the footprints were disappearing under fresh snow. Soon Ollie couldn't see them at all. He trudged on and on as the snow grew deeper. I must keep going, he panted. I must get back to my nice warm basket and supper. <laughs> At last, Ollie reached a large wood. Was this the wood by his farm? If it was, then he was nearly home. The snow had stopped, and evening sunlight shone 
through the trees. Crunch, crunch, Ollie crept through the icy leaves. But then, all at once, swoosh! Ollie slipped down an icy slope, tumbling over and over. Thump! From the shadow of the bushes, three fox cubs stared out at him. Look what that snow's blown in, said one. What a scrap, said another. This is our home, said the third. Clear off! But I don't know which way to go, cried Ollie. Sadly, he walked away. He would have to find his own way home. Ollie reached the edge of the wood, but still he couldn't see the farm. He tried to cheer himself up. He'd have so much to tell Sam and Shava when he reached home. But the snow was falling once more, thicker and faster. As he struggled on, Ollie began to think he would never see his family again. Cold, hungry and very, very tired, Ollie crawled under a bush. A mouse scurried past his feet and disappeared into a small hole. I wish I could find somewhere safe and warm to sleep too, Ollie sighed. But as he closed his eyes, he heard something. Ollie! Ollie! Where are you? Ollie peeked out from the bush. It was Mom! Mom! Sam! Sheba! I'm over here! And across the frozen field, Ollie raced to meet them. We've been looking for you for hours, cried Mom. Where have you been? I've had an adventure, said Ollie, but I'm so glad it's over now. So am I, said Mom, gently licking his freezing ears. Home at last, Ollie curled up with his brother and sister in their cozy bed. The puppies wanted to know all about Ollie's big adventure. Tell us more about the owl, cried Sheba. And the nasty fox cubs, squeaked Sam. But warm and snug, his tummy full of dinner, Ollie had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. See you next time.